And then we also have the option of doing yogurt. But make sure to choose the non-sweetener ones. So that way you don't get any added sugar that you don't need in your diet. And then we also have the option of cheese. And the blocks of cheese are usually cheaper. So make sure you do those. And you can shred it yourself. And that is much cheaper for your budget. For our milk options, we have just regular milk. And then we also have non-dairy options for those of you who are lactose intolerant. So this is the produce section. We have fruits and vegetables here, and then a little refrigerated section over here. Um, you can always pick something from this section. The one thing about fresh produce is that it's going to go bad a lot sooner than frozen or canned. Another option to get more fresh fruits and veggies into your diet is to go for frozen. These, we're going to pay attention to the yellow tags because that usually means a sale. So these are a dollar a bag, and you can mix and match. So you have carrots, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, whatever you want. Another option if you don't want to do fresh or frozen is canned. Um, these ones you see, they go low as 85 cents. Again, the yellow tags for the price. Um, these ones store for a lot longer, but most importantly, just pay attention to what's on sale and make sure you incorporate different types of veggies into your diet. So when choosing a protein, we also want to try to focus on choosing leaner cuts, um, but also like um, with the produce, where the yellow tags were for sales. Um, and a lot of stores also have uh, special deals on meat that are going to expire a little bit earlier, um, such as manager specials here. Um, so. They, you're probably gonna get a good deal on these, but you gotta make sure to uh, either freeze or cook these right away. For grains, we wanna focus on whole grain, multi grain breads. Um, we wanna stay away from the white breads. And then again, we wanna focus on the ones that are on sale. Just a little cheaper for you.